How's it going guys? Chronic Rush here and welcome to a brand new episode of my FIFA 15 Team of the Week predictions. Welcome back guys and today we're predicting the Team of the Week number 12 which should be released on the 3rd of December, the 1st one of December and um, the Team of the Week doesn't look too good in terms of high rated players and stuff like that like we've seen in the previous Team of the Weeks obviously with the record breaking Messi, uh, the second in form Robin and players like that in the previous Team of the Weeks um, but um, we haven't been doing too well, we've been getting about 9 out of I think it is 18 players um, which is we normally get 9 or 12 and I'm trying to improve that slowly so guys if you've got any suggestions anything of that nature put that in the comments so let's get straight into this week's team of the week number 12 so we're going to start off with the goalkeeper we have this silver keeper here Ayureta uh, placed for Ironbar in the Liga BVA and picked up 9 saves a clean sheet as well as the man of the match award in his team's 1-0 victory over Celta de Vigo uh, Celta de Vigo were obviously clear winners to win that game Ironbar actually ended up winning that game and um, this guy was one of the main mans for making sure Celta de Vigo didn't end up scoring Moving on to the next player of this player here, Noke, uh, plays for Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga, picked up a goal, a clean sheet in his team's 1-0 victory over Monche Gladbach. Uh, it was a really, really good game, really, really tight game, and Noke there um, ended up bringing his team the full three points. Moving on to the next player of this player here, Chris Smalling, uh, Manchester United centre-back. And uh, United have been having some struggling issues at the back. But uh, Chris Morning goes out and scores, uh, picking up a goal and a clean sheet in his team's 3-0 victory over Hull there. Uh, Van Persie picking up a goal and assist in that game as well. And um, I, I wasn't too sure on this terms of centre-back. I had three options I'll talk about a bit later. I had Smalling, Clichy, as well as Glenn Johnson. I didn't know what one to do um, put into the team. So I decided to go for Chris Smalling um, just because he's a centre-back. And um, it's a bit hard for centre-backs to score and had a very, very dominant game as well in that centre-back position. Moving on to the final defender, we have this player here, Kadir Mangane, uh, plays in the Turkish League and uh, picked up a goal and assist, a clean sheet, as well as the man of the match award in his team's 4-0 victory. Um, this is the player that I was like... I was trying to find another player to fit in that spot. I was thinking Clichy or Glenn Johnson. I decided, I saw this guy had a very, very good performance. So I decided to bung him in the team. Um, and that's the reason why Clichy and Glenn Johnson aren't in there, guys. Guys, if you think they should have been there, put that in the comments. Put the reasons why. And uh, let's move on to the midfield. We can start on the right-hand side. We have this player here, Carlos Vea, the Leo Thorsted player. Um, being a very, very good player in the previous FIFA. getting a number of informs. And uh, could pick his first inform in FIFA 15 here. Uh, picking up a hat-trick as well as man of the match in his team's 3-0 victory over El on Friday night there. Moving on to the centre mids, the first wave here is going to be this player here, Ben Yat. Uh, actually played in the cam spot for Atletico Bilbao, picking up a goal assist as well as the man of the match award um, in his team's 2-1 victory over Getafe. Fantastic performance by him in that cam spot. Moving on to the next wave, this player here, Miralan Pjanic, the AS Roma player. Centre mid picked up two goals, one actual peach of a free kick um, in uh, Roma's 4-2 victory over Inter, picking up the man of the match award in that game as well. Moving on to the final move Fielder. We have this player here, Zoran Tosic, the CSKA Moscow winger, should I say. Um, actually played out on the right-hand side, have him on the left in the team of the week. Uh, but he picked up two goals and man of the match in his team's 5-0 victory over FC UFA in the Russian League. And um, you've also got players such as Bela Labi from Bayer Leverkusen that could potentially feature in that spot as well. Moving on to the camp position, should I say, in this formation, we actually have this player here, Carlos Baca, uh, the Sevilla striker. And um, I was kind of struggling to pick a player from the Sevilla squad. Uh, they ended up being beating Granada 5-1 and uh, Baka picked up two goals as well as the man of the match award in that game but he did come off as a sub um, I'm not too sure how late on in the game but maybe he could have picked up the hat trick um, towards the end of the game uh, but still I was kind of struggling whether to put him in or not on the team guys any suggestions on that put that in the comments moving on to the strike force and the two final players of the starting 11 we have this player here Islam Slimani plays for Sporting in the Liga Portuguesa or the Premier League and um, he picked up two goals and assists and man of the match in his team's 3-0 victory at the weekend um helped in all the goals scored two of them assisted one very very good performance indeed and moving on to the final player of the starting 11 we have this player here Klaus Huntler and uh, he picked up a hat trick assist as well as the man of the match award in Schalke's five sorry a 4-1 victory over Mainz fantastic performance by him and uh, we should definitely see him as an in-form card Moving on to the bench here, the first player here is going to be this player here, Weidwald, uh, plays for Frankfurt in the Bundesliga, picked up six saves, a clean sheet in Frankfurt's 2-0 victory over Dortmund. Um, Dortmund 
Dortmund not doing too well at all, but um, Weidfeld made a number of very, very good saves, and we could see him in the team of the week. Moving on to the next player with this player here, Aaron Creswell, uh, the West Ham left back, and he picked up a goal as well as the man of the match award and the clean sheet in West Ham's 1-0 victory over the fairly powerful Newcastle, should I say. Um, they had a lot of momentum, winning, I think, six games in the trot, and West Ham shut them down finally uh, with Aaron Creswell picking up that goal there. Moving on to the next player with this player here, Alan Judge from Brentford, I believe, in the championship, picking up a goal, two assists, as well as the man of the match award in his team's 4-0 victory over Wolves. Moving on to the next player of this player here, Nathan Burns, plays for Wellington Phoenix in the A-League, the Australian League. And uh, he picked up a hat-trick um, in his team's 5-1 victory over Melbourne City. But I wasn't too sure where he actually played. Um, his default position is as the right mid, but he may have played up top. Moving on to the... Um, we have three strikers in the subs event. Now, the first one over here is this player here, Benek Afobe. Uh, plays for Milton Keane Dons. And uh, he picked up a hat-trick in his team's 6-0 victory over Colchester. Fantastic performance indeed by him. Moving on to the next player of this player here, Pablo Granoke. Uh, plays in the Celia Beer for Moderna. And uh, he actually picked up four goals... In and the man of the match award in his team's 4-1 victory over Clotone. And moving on to the final player of this week's team of the week, number 12, we have this player here, Josip Dermic, the Bayer Leverkusen player. And the reason I put him on the bench is due to the fact that uh, he came off the bench in the 45th minute. Bayer Leverkusen weren't doing too well against FC Cologne. Um, and um, this guy came on, picked up two goals and an assist. And um, a fantastic performance indeed by him. Again, like I said, Bellarabe could be there with two goals from a wing spot and the man of the match reward. Uh, but I decided to go for Joseph Dermich here. And uh, we could potentially see him in the team of the week, guys. So let's move on to the full squad. As you can see there, we've got a number of OK players. Not any outstanding players. You've still got some high-rated ones such as Huntelaar, Pjanic, um, Veja. They could be all good players. And then you've got some other cheaper discard price ones with Noke. Um, Smalling could go for quite a bit just because he's quite a pacey um, centre-back from the BPL. Uh, you've got some 74 rated silver players in there. Aaron Quesbo might go for a bit as well, as well as Benek Afobe. But guys, that is the team week number 12. If you think I've missed any players, any players that you think should have been in that squad, put that in the comments section. Also remember to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned to this series and also go and check out other series on my channel, guys. This has been Crush. Till next time, adios!